Let's talk about how to self-host Flutterflow apps with a custom domain on Firebase Hosting. As we know, Flutterflow offers hosting for web apps with one custom domain on Pro Plan. However, with this method, you will be able to host multiple web apps for free with custom domains using Firebase Hosting. For this tutorial, I have already created a project called Flutterflow Self Host. Let's open the project. This is a blank project. Let's add some content. Let's add a text widget. Increase the font size. In order to self host the project, we need to download the code. But before the downloading, go to the setting, open platform, and enable web. Now click the download icon and download the code. After downloading the code, extract the archive. Now open the folder, right click, open in terminal. Now run flutter pub get. In order to run this, you have to set up flutter SDK in your system. If you haven't set up it, there is a link in the description you can follow. After this, run the command flutter build web. It's gonna take a little bit time, so wait. Now open the build folder. Now right click and open in terminal. Now run the command firebase in it. It's saying I'm not logged in yet. So run firebase login. It will open the browser to authenticate yourself. Select your email ID. Allow. Now Firebase CLI is successfully logged in. You can see here. Okay. So now run Firebase in it. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Now go to select hosting. Press space to select. Now press enter existing project but for this tutorial i'm gonna create a new project select create a new project press enter it's gonna ask for a unique project id so let's write something here so press enter it's creating firebase project it's asking what do you want to use as your public directory so our project is in web folder so we'll be writing web it's asking for if it's a single page app but our is none so press n and enter and we do not want to set to github so no we already have the index.html press no because we do not want to replace it it's created the necessary files we need to deploy now we can run Firebase deploy. Now it's going to upload every files we have in the directory to Firebase hosting. Let's wait. So our project is deployed and it's written a web app URL. Let's open it. Okay. So it's working perfectly okay so we can access with that url so this is our project we can see it's the same project hosted without flutter flow now let's set up custom domain open this url in chrome now click all products Scroll down, select hosting. Click get started. So this is the sub domain that uh, Firebase allotted us. Let's add our custom domain. For my domain DNS, I'm using Cloudflare. You can use any 
domain DNS provider. The process is going to be the same. I'm logged in in my Cloudflare. Let's select my domain. Open DNS setting. Here, we need to add a new record. Our subdomain name. You can use it for your main domain also. And now we need an IPv4 address. So go there and enter the domain name that we need to add. Okay, so click continue. I have already verified my domain ownership. You may have to verify it. So now we need to copy the IPv4 address from Firebase. Copy this, paste here. Now save the record. We are good to go. Now we can access the domain from this domain, custom domain. Okay, so let's wait. It's working perfectly. With this method, we can publish multiple websites or web apps on custom domain. Thanks for watching.